Hi everyone and welcome to episode three. Today we're going to introduce you to another one of our sales managers and we're going to show you a bit more of the lifestyle over here in Portugal, including a few of the top, top golf courses here in Villamora. So I'm Gus. On the second hole here at the old course, Villamora. Mid-morning, perfect, no problem at all. Hi everyone, welcome to Villamora. Who would you choose to be your caddy in the office? So this is our state-of-the-art simulator. Right guys, I'm currently in the UK office. However, I'm actually about to fly out to Portugal for two weeks to go and work in the Villa Mora office. And I'll still be doing the same marketing that you see now, but I'll also show you around the Portugal office. I'll introduce you to Gus, who currently lives out in the Algarve. He's the Portugal sales manager. And I'll also be showing you around some of the stunning courses that Portugal has to offer. Hi everyone, welcome to Villa Mora. This is our shop, as you can see, uh, open in May, it's where I've been working. I'm going to show you around real quickly now before introducing myself, doing a quick question and answer. Hit the simulator for a bit and then we're going to go over to the old course and play a few holes. Come here. So this is our state-of-the-art simulator. Uh, you come in with a free holiday to Monty Ray, currently set up in 16 at Augusta, very famous hole. Now, of course, you can't go and play the actual course, but you come in here, have a little go, try and get a hole in one and uh, win yourself a free holiday. So head back here, this is the office, this is where I work. Um, my colleagues, whoever are flying out of time, we kind of have a rotor. I'm out here full time as well as Dean, who's not actually here today, unfortunately. Um, but as you see, desk over here. Um, we've got a back entrance for clients to come through, talk about golf holidays, etc. cetera. Um, yeah, this is where I work. So I'm Gus, I'm the Portugal and Spain sales manager, as well as being out here in Portugal, running the Portuguese office, um, based in Villamora. So I've worked for Golf Holidays Direct for nearly three years now out in portugal since may but we've been going back and forth since kind of the start of the year um helping big time kind of plan the office simulator and um, the layout etc accommodation for staff so um kind of been back and forth to portugal over the last kind of five six months or so working in portugal is great obviously the benefits they're pretty endless to be fair um you know i've got the sunshine which is great the golf courses which is lovely you know, being within a five minute walk from the office, uh, it's really easy and convenient. Um, and yeah, it's just a really cool place to live. Um, yeah, I'd say the, the best benefits of golf courses are playing you know, Kinters, the Don Pedro golf courses, whenever I kind of want to, it's, it's a real benefit. Try and get out on the golf course, well, once a week on the golf course, but you know, as with a simulator being just around the corner from my desk, um, you know, I'm hitting hundreds of balls a day, which um, you know, if I'm not answering the phone, I'm probably on the off simulator. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good good perk. Say my favourite course uh, in Portugal. It's difficult to say because obviously yes, there's so many. I, I'm, I like the Dom Pedro golf courses, the old course in particular. Probably the one which I'm, I'm most fond of, and I tend to play well around there is Kinnet South. So that obviously helps. Um, so yeah, I'd probably say Kinnet South. Being with the company for the last three years, I've been on some amazing trips. Um, TPC Sawgrass. Uh, Spain countless times, Morocco, the one which kind of really stands out and you know, for any keen golfer, the Masters was amazing, um, you know, watching the players, ultimately it's, it's the biggest event of the year, um, walking the golf course, it's, it's something that not everyone gets to do, so being able to go with work and uh, kind of experience it, it's something I'm very grateful for and um, yeah, it was, it was a great week away. So daily, um, you know, we get loads of golfers come through one of them is a simulator um and you know we, it can be between uh, 50 and 100 people a day which is really good um interacting with them find out a bit more about what they're looking for on future trips you know making sure everything's okay with their current trip even if we haven't booked it you know, we, we really take care on these clients um they have a garment simulator which is good fun so yeah between 50 and 100 a day which is it's good fun for us we've had a few holding ones three clients have had holding ones which is really good um We've also got my colleague Mitchell, who's on another video, and I'm sure if you ask him, he'll be more than happy to tell you that he got holding one before me, which, yeah, I'm sure if you've got half an hour or so, he'll happily talk you through it. I'm in charge of kind of around 1,000 to 1,500 golfers a month, um, whether that's new bookings or existing bookings and managing them. You know, targets are around 400,000 pounds a month, um, which are always hit. 
uh, by myself and other members of staff. Um, so yeah, around a thousand golfers on average a year, a, a month, sorry. Um, but in busy seasons, you know, it got to 1,500, you know, nearly 2,000 golfers, which is, which can get quite busy, but it's, yeah, it's all part of the job. Oh, hi, is this John? Hi, right, John, it's Gus calling at Golf Holidays Direct. How are you doing? You okay? I'm just calling in regards to the quote sent over to you and we discussed last week. Um, now, when we were speaking last week, it seemed that Villamora was, was the option you guys are going for. Is that still the case? Excellent. So um, it's obviously the Tivoli Marina in Villamora. Um, it's about 16 of you. Um, the golf courses, of course, we need to start looking at getting booked in for you guys. Um, we only take a small deposit, of course. So um, what sort of tea times were you after? Mid morning, perfect, no problem at all. And um, in regards to the days you're looking to play, obviously you're doing seven nights, four rounds of golf. Kind of, you happy for me to kind of split it up a little bit so you're not playing every day? Excellent, no problem at all. What I'll do, I'm going to start with you off um, at the old course in Villamora because I did have a little look this morning and the tea times were all available um, there. So we'll start the old course on the Tuesday um, and then we'll play Pinal on the uh, Wednesday. We've got a day off on the Thursday. Um, and then we're going to go over to Quinta de Lago North Course on the Friday and then finish up on the Sunday at Quinta de Lago South, which I've mentioned before, obviously, is my favourite golf course in the Algarve. So um, if you're doing a little bit of a tournament, I think save the best till last. It's, it's a nice way to do it. Is that OK for you guys? Perfect. That's great. All I'll do, I'll get this all locked in for you. Um, are you happy for me to give you a call back this afternoon to take the deposit? Brilliant. Sounds good. Brilliant. Cheers, John. I'll speak to you later on. Cheers, bye. So um, good play, the 16th of Augusta, just tee off here. Um, quite a fun hole to play, obviously. No one can ever replay Augusta, but coming in here, it's as close as we'll get. Um, as I said before, you know, Augusta's is fond memories of myself. I've been there, um, a lot of our clients, myself, doing a lot of bookings through the Masters. I'd say my stand-up booking um, was actually a German group who, who went to Augusta. Um, their feedback was excellent. There was a trip of a lifetime, which I'm really proud to say I was a part of going back and forth. You know, taking over a year or so to organize it and uh, make sure everything was good. Um, but yeah, see how we get on. I can't have people thinking I'm bad golf. Cheers. <laughs> Just walking over to the 19th hole now, one of the most popular bars on the marina. Great for live sport. Lots of big groups of golfers love to come and congregate here after a nice day of golf. Let's go grab a drink. Here we are at the 19th hole where we can get free shots for all of our clients. Quite a good shot. On the second hole here, the old course Villamora, um, one of the most famous golf courses in the Algarve. We played the par five. See how we get on. Hot in it. Good start in the fairway. So in the fairway, I've got 207. It's in the middle of the green. Slightly uphill, downwind. Gonna hit five iron. See if I get up there. Not awful. Birdie putt. All right, come on for birdie. Slightly left to right, but not much. Boom. Favourite golfer? Rory McIlroy. Handicap? Four. How old when you started playing golf? Uh, 14. Who would you choose to be your caddy in the office? Um, I'd go for Mitch because he'll just make me laugh if it's going badly. Best golfer in the company? Oh, um, there's a few good golfers but I'll have to back myself. I think it's myself. Early morning or late afternoon tea time? Early morning, always. Draw or fade? Draw. Major Championship or Ryder Cup? Ooh. Uh, 
uh, Ryder Cup year, Tesco Ryder Cup. And favourite course? Sawgrass. Here on the fourth hole, the old course, signature hole, par three. Got 145 yards over the water and over that big tree. I've got a nine iron. Let's see what we do. Pretty good. About 20 feet left. Can I? Just left of the flag. Cool. Uphill. About 25 feet. A little bit right to left. That's a birdie. Here we go. Connor and Gus here. We're going to do a little five hole challenge for you today. Let's see who will come out on top. No shots, yeah? No shots. That's definitely in the water. That's not long enough, is it? I think that's right. Sit. Don't hit that path. It hit the path. Out of bounds? Nah, that's right. It's left of it. Eight iron. Little draw. Oh, just left. <clears throat> That's fine. Shot. That's annoying. Oh, I saw you turn it in. All square. Not a great start. Five iron. Yeah. Fifteen. Three hundred yards. Yeah. All square. All square. Four to play. Yeah. Shot. Oh, bunker. Bunker. Shot. One oh six. Sandwich. Back left. <coughs> Back left. Yeah. Just in the fringe and the left. Shot. Oh wow. I thought that was going to be so slow. Yeah, good four. Oh, one up. Mate, look at that for a backdrop, by the way. <sighs> Out of bounds. See you later. Going for the hybrid on my favourite hole in golf. That's a good shot. On the green, we'll take it. It's in this like plant thing. That's a very good shot, that. Ain't awful. Try to fall off. For the bird. <coughs> That's not bad. Yeah, great part. Good free. I think that could be a gimme for the half, yeah? Yeah. Be a great free, to be fair. Break. Not bad four from there, but we're back to all square. All square. Seventeenth yeah. hole. Yep. After a fantastic par made by myself on sixteen. I'll do. Gus has been hooking it today, so could be finding himself in Donna Felipe. Never played golf like this ever. He predicted four and two win over the swing of six iron. Get through. Ah. Oh. You lucky boy. Oh dear. Nice shape on it. One, two, seven. Nice easy wedge. Didn't run on as much as I wanted it to, but. Sit. Shot. Yeah, well then. Ooh. Ah. Oh. It's all come down to this. 18th hole, all square going down the last. If this ends up in play, I'll be quite happy. <laughs> oh. It's all right, it's in play. 
Just I said if it's in play, I'd go out it. You, you, you could get to the green, like you've got a line, it's just... Oh, it's horrible down there. It's a nightmare. Go. Shut. Oh, interesting. Big part. You're shaking. You look really nervous. Well then. Well, that's a half a mate. Hey, mate. We'll do another one next week, shall yeah. we? Half the match. He thought he was going to beat me, but didn't quite bring his A game. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching episode three, guys. Please like and subscribe. See you next time. Are you round off? I'll do it again. <laughs> yeah, a bit of milk. Oh, 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 oh. Is that good? Do a quick question and answer. I'll do that again. <laughs> no. Cut. I slipped. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> no, we're not having that one either. I've lost seven golf balls, I think. No. What? It's not easy on camera. Stage fright. Oh! That's the wrong question. Blob, not blow. <laughs> what? Blob, not blow. <laughs> and that's not going in the outtakes either.